Anything else around here? Nope. Let's go. Okay, so what should we do now? Well, great. I need to develop the pictures before my date, but I can't get into Fuller's dark room anymore. So I'll have to get by with just domestic items. Mom's bathroom will make a great substitute dark room. I've still got the remains of the photo paper. And I've got developer. I need a red light, two flat dishes, and a little acid to use as a fixer. And something to do the exposing with. A projector, for example. I'll write everything down so I don't forget anything. Okay. And I still gotta secretly open Mrs. Biber's letter and then deliver it to her later. <sighs> what a day. Okay, um... Well, we have some stuff already, right? Let me see in the diary. Did he check anything off? Where is this list that you made, Darren? Do, 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 do. Make photo prints. Okay. Develop the pictures and make prints. My own pictures of Angelina ought to be so much better than Fuller's. I can barely wait to develop them. And then I'll make some prints. Two of each. Okay. Do we have a list of stuff? I thought you said you were making a list of stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Any red light bulb will give you red light, and any acid would work as a fixer. G citric acid or vinegar. We have vinegar already. Oh, this is a hint. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Well, we don't have a red light bulb, though. But we do have vinegar. Um, so where can I get a red light bulb from? And how am I going to open this? Stop disappearing. Stop it! <laughs> hmm. Letter from C. What was this again? Dear Rebecca, I have received your letter and am pleased that you're well. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, sure. I really don't understand all that. Perhaps my father wasn't killed in the accident? Maybe he walked out on us. But my father was called John. Not C. <laughs> or could it be hush money? But my mother tangled up in some kind of dark plot? Or with the best will in the world, I can't imagine that. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see. Where can we go? Let's go to the promenade. I forgot to double click, so now we have to watch him walk. I swear she looks like Angelina. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? Let's see. In the souvenir store, maybe? Anything here that could be useful? No, it looks like I've exhausted pretty much everything here. Okay, let's talk to Rosie. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? <laughs> Tourist shop. Okay, that's... Well, I don't know. Let's see what he'll say. Along with all the tourist stuff and the mail, you're the local travel agent too, aren't you? Have you got anything about a place called Willow Creek in England? Of course we do. Take a look back there on the flyers. Thanks. All right. Yeah, yeah. I already did, so uh, that won't be really helpful. Unless something new opened up. No. Okay, we already looked at that flyer. Okay, to the side street. Oh, maybe we could steal the light bulb from that. Junk shop, backyard. What is this? Oh, main square. Um, junk shop, does he have a red light bulb? Hey, Eddie. There was something else. Well, spit it out. What do you want? Slide projector. About the slide projector. It ain't for sale. I don't want to buy it. I just need it for a while. I want to borrow it. Borrow? Oh, and I get it back in bits, huh? <laughs> oh, Come on, Eddie. 
I helped you with the coin, and you're gonna make a lot on that. My blind man's cane is much more important to me. So, if I get you the cane, c can I borrow the projector? Hmm... All right, then. Okay. Agree. See you soon. All right, so I have to get his cane. Which, as I recall, he lost in a game of poker. <laughs> oh, Eddie. All right, let's go back out. Maybe back here? Anything helpful? I don't see anything that looks even vaguely helpful. Grating, window grill, pivoting window, window. All right, back to the street then. <laughs> what happens if I try to go in Fuller's store? Fuller's back. And if it was down to me, I'd never enter this store again. Okay. Uh, fine. Go away. Road to the main square. Let's see here. What's this? Police station. All right. Let's check Baba's, Baba's diner. Anything in the trash can? Ooh, maybe we can steal a red light off of this. How nice. That's stinking garbage. I have no particular interest in it. Very nice. String of lights. Quick, quick, steal one. <laughs> you hooligan. Yes, this'll do for my red light. Excellent. Oh, oh, look what you did. This chain of lights is gonna stay dark. Oh boy. <laughs> Make Biba's light even life even harder. Can we take another one? A simple chain of lights. A power cable with lots of bulbs on it. What's missing? Yeah, we took it. <laughs> well I guess we can put it back later. Maybe. Anything new in the diner? Let's see. Mm, still bread. I don't think I need any more, right? Hopefully. I don't want to bother her while she's working. Well, we already did several times. All right, whatever. Let's see. So we have a red light. We have vinegar. What else do I need? Uh, da, 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 da. I can't get into Phil Fuller's store anymore. That makes things more difficult. I could use Mom's bathroom as a dark room, so then I'd still need a red light and two flat bowls, acid for fixer, and a projector making the exposures. Okay, so we still need to get the cane for the for Eddie. Which means I somehow have to get the porter to talk about Poker. What would I want there? I keep my distance from the police. Why? Um, let's see. Anything new in the hospital? This guy is still waiting. <laughs> Man. I don't want to stop her from doing a job. Right now. <laughs> right now? Okay. Maybe later. Um, let's see. Anything new with mom? Oh, doctor's here. Excuse me, Dr. Newhouse. Hello, yes? Uh, what about my mom? How is she? No change. But, but she's a strong woman. <sighs> That's what everyone says. After the accident, she had to bring me up on her own. Y yes, I heard about that. What, what, what kind of accident was it? car crash. It was in England. We were driving on this tree-lined road. The car got into a skid and we smashed into one of the trees. Dad didn't survive and Mum's had to wear that support thing ever since. I came away without a scratch. Mm. Do you remember anything about the accident? What? Um, no. I was only a few years old. No memory of it. I've lived here in the States for as long as I can remember. It's just that when I examined your mother, I, I thought her back and neck injuries seemed 
rather unusual for a collision type accident. Mm. They look more like injuries from a fall. A, a fall from a considerable height, causing her to have suffered compressed vertebrae. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. No, nothing at all. Y y if your mother said she was in a car accident, then that must have been the case. <laughs> okay, or sure. she's been lying. Darren. I certainly didn't mean that. Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> all right. Can you tell me about the bit of Ford? So, uh, a crazy good time guy like yourself can surely tell me where all the action is here in Biddeford. <laughs> Oh, dear me, no. <laughs> you got me wrong there. I could perhaps give you a few tips on which are the most interesting evening courses at the community center. Uh, no thanks. I'll pass on that one. I thought you might. Hey, we do put on a disco for young folks every two weeks. <laughs> I suspect you've rather grown out of all that, too. I don't think I was ever that age. Discos, bars, parties... I was never into that sort of hey, thing. Hey, me neither. Don't you worry about it. That. You were rather more of a loner, yes? I have no idea where she got that from. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I didn't intend to. <laughs> of course so, not. to sum up then, in Biddeford, you're best off being over 50 or dead. What? Might just suit me. What? Be being over 50? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Fuller. Do you know Fuller? From the photo store? Y yeah, yes, a little. I I've not had much to do with him. He doesn't get involved in the community. He never comes to the spring flea market or to church. Yeah, right. Who would have thought it? <laughs> I know that your mother got you a job at Fuller's. I advised her against it, but she said you were interested in photography? That's right. Only my job there doesn't have much to do with photography. Okay. Not gonna elaborate. Mrs. Biba. What can you tell me about Mrs. Biba? And do you know her husband? Oh, well. Now, a person shouldn't speak ill of others, but her husband, I... He's a very unpleasant fellow. He was a big deal in the football team at high school. And Mrs. Biba married him young. Yes, I think she imagined her life turning out some other way. That's sad. Like, how? Now... She works hard in the diner. She probably does the work of about three people. But I don't think it makes a great deal of money. And her husband, well... Uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. They certainly don't have a lot of money. Just a lot of work. And no love. Aww. Uh -huh. Well, that's it for now. I guess. <laughs> if you've got any more things you want to ask, then just come and find me. All right. That was actually very informative. Uh, anything else? Scales? I don't think we can take the scales while the doctor's standing there. I'd better leave the scales here. What would I do with scales? Well, I'm sure we can figure something out eventually. Alright, let's see. To the mortuary. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna say I don't want to go there, right? I'm not particularly morbid, so I think I'll stay on this side of the door. Oh man, but there's a quickie for it. Does that mean we're eventually gonna have to go to the mortuary? That doesn't bode well. Alright, let's leave. To Mother's house. Uh, can we find anything useful in the kitchen, maybe? Sink. Telescope, little cupboard. Headphones. Mom's into music. That's one thing we have in common. Though our tastes are a little diverse. Mom's Beethoven doesn't mix that well with Nirvana or Pearl Jam. Okay. But you don't want to take these. Mom's into music. No? Mom's into music. Alright, fine. To the bathroom, to the bedroom. The bathroom will make a good dark room. It's got no windows, and it's tiled. Perfect. Now I just need all the equipment. I need two bowls, a makeshift fixer, and an enlarger. Okay, so I have to figure out how to get into that poker game. How are we gonna do that? Let's see, oops. Let's go talk to him again, maybe? Uh, actually, is there a 
shortcut. There we go. That's what I want. Hey. Can you just give me the cane back, please? <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, please? Poker. I'd like to get back into playing poker. I'd be interested in a blind man's white cane as a bet. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> we sometimes play a little game or two of poker here. But nothing public, quite private. Never for high stakes. Okay. Wouldn't you say that for a blind man, a white cane would be quite a high stake? He wanted to bet with it. Okay, keep pressing. You know what? I think I'll inform the police about your game. I mean, that can't be right now, can it? You can't take a cane away from a blind man. Well, go ahead and call the cops. I've got nothing to hide. I won the cane fair and square. You, you can ask the other players. If you say so. Keep pressing. So what was that again about the, the fair and square win in an illegal gambling game in a respected local hotel? <laughs> Darren. What would Rosie think if I told her about it? What would other people think, in fact? Taking the cane from a blind man. What a devious, slimy character you Ooh. are. No, please, don't do that. I, I am sorry. I really didn't want the cane, you know. Eddie just didn't have any more dough with him, and he threw it in as a guarantee. Okay, just give it How back. How much did he stake on it, then? Oh, it's not worth talking about. What's a hundred bucks, anyway? You, seeing him today, I could give you the cane. <laughs> give him my best, and tell him he can consider it a gift from a good old friend. Oh, dear. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> well, great. I'll take it with me and pass it on to Eddie, then. And give your mother my best when she wakes up. Yeah, yeah. How did you know she was in a coma? I didn't tell you. <laughs> Word travels faster on here. Alright. We're going to Eddie's. Da-da-da-da, junk shop. Come on, Darren, hobble faster. All right, Eddie, I got your thing. Where is it? Here it is, white cane. This yours. Your blind man's cane. Well, thanks. You know, you're smarter than you sound. <laughs> Best put it by the door. Okay. Hey, listen. Uh, if I can help you out in any way, you just ask. Thanks. Can I borrow your projector? About the slide projector. It ain't for sale. I don't want to buy it. I, I just need it for a while. I want to borrow it. I, I did help you with the coin and got your blind man's cane back. Ooh. Hmm. That's true. Hand it over. Okay, take the projector, but bring it back today. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll bring sure. it back today and undamaged. Good, good. All right, thank you. Let's go. We have pictures to develop. Okay, he's gonna go poke around over there. That's fine. Poke around wherever he wants. Oops. Why do I keep using the wrong click? We're going to Mom's house. Which I guess we'll have to go this way. To house. Alright, can we do this yet? We have two bowls. We have the side projector. We have the All red right. light. I've got everything I need to develop the pictures. It's gonna take a bit of time, so let's get going. Alright, cool. We still have to return the side projector to Eddie. Or he's gonna be mad. <laughs> I've got the pictures. Huh. They've come out quite well, considering the conditions I had to develop them in. Can I see? All the stuff that I need for developing is in the bathtub. I hope I won't be needing it for a while. I'm just gonna take any slide projector. I wish I could make some reprints of some of the pictures. 
but there's no more photo paper left. But I'm gonna keep at least one. Okay. That's nice. Okay, so everything else is there. We need to go and return the slide projector, yeah? Alright. Uh, can I go and return it? So he doesn't freak out at me? You won't let me return it? Darren. <laughs> okay, fine. Then let's go to the hotel. Again, 